and gentlemen, welcome to the biggest show in the world, Sports Betters TV here on a What is up, Adam? Oh, man. Oh, man. So, uh, just, got, just got a little punched in the mouth yesterday. You yeah, know, the book decided bit. to, uh, they decided to drag themselves off the mat for a day. You know, after six weeks of me just, you know, throwing haymakers into their grill. <laughs> so, are we going to come back again today? Are we going to dodge that right hand? Or are we going to throw it up and cut and knock them out? All day, man. I, you, you did it. You, I mean, most of your stuff was underdogs yesterday, though, Dan. You know what I mean? I know. I know. But uh, that's no excuse. No excuses. Yes. Um, you know, it is, it is what it is. But um, if you've been playing my weekend plays over the last month or so, still be smiling so i don't want to hear the hate and we're gonna get him back today <laughs> yes sir yes sir man a lot of uh, a lot of big stuff happened yesterday man um dan the milwaukee brewers i know loriano got scratched at the end but they still won again bro they did they still they won did. again and i got news for you dude i mean as bad as as bad as the record is there is a lot of excitement in that stadium dude i mean every time they hit a home run there's fireworks there's all kinds of madness going on uh, they, they love their um you know they love their baseball um you know to obviously what else are you going to do in milwaukee except watch <laughs> baseball or you know watch football uh, uh <laughs> definitely definitely i hear you man but uh hey you know that oh, man, and, and, and they are favored you, again yeah. today you know they they got they got a pitcher on the mound that's uh, that's been pretty dope. Like I said, crazier things have happened. I mean, you know, baseball. That's the thing with futures. It's like you you got to look at things. I mean, there was a I can't remember what year it was when the Rockies won like twenty three out of their last twenty five games or something, like yep. twenty one in a row. I think at one point to make the playoffs. You know, and if you were taking them. That year, you probably getting them. I mean, at insane, insane money, so, well, like ten thousand to one or something like that towards something, the end. Something crazy like that at some point, you know. I mean, look, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but the Brewers are notorious, you know, for going on these crazy runs. You know, losing fifteen in a row or winning fifteen in a row. Right. The problem I think that you're going to run into is I still think that they trade a bunch of pieces. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about that before. Seem to think so. I'm trying to be a little wishful thinking. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Of course you got. I mean, you got to be. I mean, you know. But um, I, I don't know, man. I think they will get some really valuable prospects. The team isn't sustainable over, you know, over the long term, as you see with them. Um, I still think they make moves, but we'll see what happens. Shy Picks, thank you very much. That is one of the most perfect photos that has come across my board. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Good stuff, man. All right, got my man Yato on here. Who else? I got JP. I got T O T H O T N retweeting the show. What's up? Shy Picks. Uh, let's see. James Knoll is out there. Uh, Direct Sports Solutions. Jordy Best. Uh, let's see. Uh, Canadian Capper. Boston Boy. Good morning, guys. What's up? The Spread Wizard tearing it up. And uh, Faz Lane. Tommy King as well. What's going on, guys? Good morning to you. Get ready to go on a Sunday morning, kid. So, oh, Dan, yeah. uh, a couple of things here uh, just before we jump into it. Uh, dude, is Kershaw back? You know, I mean, I, I, I got to say, I mean, that was unbelievably dominant. I mean, against I mean, just, an, an yeah. Unbelievable performance. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, it is one start. Um yeah, you know, I'm sure he felt a little embarrassed after kind of getting blown up in the All Star game. Right. You know, I mean, and look, he he's always been dope, so I expected him to come into form eventually. So let's see the next start. But man, that that was that was impressive. It made you realize why uh, why the Nasties were such heavy dogs. Yes, definitely, man. I, I was <laughs> I actually jumped on an adjusted run line with them. It was plus three sixty five. I took a shot, you know. Oh well, yeah, hey. Whatever it is, what it is, man. It's all good. I mean, plus three sixty-five. You know, those are those are big underdogs, man. That's why you do them. You know, every once in a while no, they of hit. Course. You know, it was the smart move. Yeah. I mean, um, I tried to actually jump on your back with that, and I, you know, I, I was just a little too late to the party, so it, you know, I couldn't do it. But either way, I mean, you did not expect that out of Kershaw. You just no. didn't expect it. I mean, after what he's been doing. 
And I mean, the Nationals, I mean, yeah, Kershaw is great, but I mean, their offense also just. I know. I mean, it, you know, it's not that good. They exhausted it in the first game. <laughs> <laughs> then went yeah. right into the second game and laid an egg. And uh, speaking of that, that was one of the few, one. <laughs> More than one run games, my God, dude! Me and my man oh, uh, Ben Rowe got smoke showed with all the uh, th- all the one run games there. Oh, dude! And it was like you know you had everything at two or more runs. And then you got you know the Yankees scoring a meaningless run. You have the uh, the the Houston Astros coming up. You had the Chicago White Sox uh, tie it up at the bottom of the ninth inning. I was like, oh. But, hey, you know what? It is what it is, man. I'm looking forward to jumping back into the swing of things and making some money today, Dan. Uh, Big ups to uh, Julio Prado, Randomly Unpredictable, AZ Wildcat 83, and Go Tribe. What's going on, guys? Good morning to you. All right, Dan. So we got some some crazy, crazy matchups today, dude. I'm looking at some of the pitching matchups. I'm like, wow. Some, like... Best of the best versus the worst of the worst. <laughs> I know, I know, and, and and you know, I've been looking at this since last night. Started going south. I've just been, you know, moving forward, looking at today. I've already put in my plays. I got five of them. Um, there's some value out there with the, where the juice isn't that crazy. All right, sticking to some favorites today, though. All right, cool deal. Yeah, I mean, yesterday was underdog day, so uh, hopefully today. His favorite day. So uh, let's see what happens here. Let's uh, continue to move this on and go from there. Dan, a little football music, but just to get your uh, juices flowing. All right. So first game we got on the ticket, we got the Seattle Mariners at the New York Yankees. Uh, New, uh, Seattle has King Felix Hernandez versus New York's CC Sabathia. Best versus the worst, kids. Seattle minus 138 with an under over of seven and a half. Wow. Yep. Yep, and this is one that I've locked in already. Um, I think I locked this in on the King at minus 135. Uh, CC Sabathia has been on a sabbatical for like a year and a half now. Yep. And just straight disappeared. Um, I expect the King to come in. Uh, it looks like after yesterday, you got to re energize Cano. Obviously, playing back at Yankee Stadium. Is it a little extra motivator? I mean, he won that game yesterday. Yeah. You know, I, I think uh, the King can pretty handily shut down the Yankees lineup. I'm, I'm all on him. Really? And I think huh? Sabathia gets destroyed. Sabathia gets destroyed by that Seattle offense, man? I Yeah, man. I, look, I, I really think so. Sabathia is not good, dude. And yeah, you look at what he's done lately, okay? And, and you look at what he's done lately, it has been miserable. Um... I'm pulling up right now, but in his last three starts, okay, he had that last start against Oakland where he gave up seven hits and two earned. Not terrible, but he only went five and a third. All okay. right? And then, remember, the Phillies, he only went four and two thirds, eight hits, six earned. That was at home. And then at the Angels, he went seven and a third, six hits, and four earned. Um, man, he's been getting smoked, and he's going to continue to. Um, I, I just... I got to think that the Mariners offense will look really good today. All right. I mean, everything points to them. I get it. I just don't like the game in particular. I mean, if you look at the uh, the Yankees, like you said, CC has just been pretty bad. Then you got this Seattle offense. It's maybe starting to emerge a touch. I mean, uh, Mr. Cano went wild yesterday, went ham, as the dream likes to allude to. And uh, But then you take on the flip side here. You got King Felix versus a potent offense. So, for me, I don't, I don't like the game, but... Hey, Dan, I wish you the best of luck with that. Yeah, I, I mean, catch it. I, I hear you, kid. I just, I'm also looking at King Felix over his last three starts. Has only given up two earned. He had two shutouts, and he had one game against uh, at Oakland where he gave up two earned. So, right. you know, Got we'll it. see what happens. All right, man. Speaking of another ace in the AL East, uh, I'm sorry, uh, well, there is no ace other than this guy in the AL East, man. Uh, Tampa Bay has uh, Chris Archer on the mound versus Toronto's Marco Estrada. Tampa Bay minus 120. Off it. I'm going to stay off it after the uh, Pepto-Bismol game that the Rays caused me yesterday. Yes. Um, <laughs> you know, hey, they got some timely hitting. Look, Archer's been dope. I, I know. Mean, don't, don't get me wrong. And, like, I love taking him. But 
His last three starts, he's been terrible. All right. I mean, he had that one start in the middle against the Yankees where he didn't give up an earned run. But yep. remember, home against Boston, five hits, five earned in six innings. Wow. And his last start out at K Sizzle, 12 hits and nine earned runs. Really? So, you know, he, he got banged around. And then on the other hand, you got Marco Estrada, who in his in, in pure average, I mean, and he's done well. Home against Boston, three hits, two earned, but he left after two and a third. But his last two starts at Detroit and at KC, only two earned in each of those games. I actually lean Toronto here. I think that offense wakes up a little bit against Archer, who is hitting maybe that little slump, um, you know, that a guy, you know, a young guy can hit. But I'm not going to touch it. I don't blame you, Dan. That's an ugly game right there. Real ugly. That's an Real ugly, ugly. Game. I actually kind of like the over. You do, huh? What's the, what's I the total there? I actually kind of like the uh, eight the runs. Yeah, maybe yeah, Toronto you know, gets gets all over him, man. I mean, that's a lot for Chris Archer to be on the mound. You know, eight runs, but I understand your mentality yeah. there, dude. I get it. I get it. But like I said, I'm a little gun shy with that game personally. No, man, I hear so. you. I would just stay away. But if you're looking at anything, the over is the only thing that makes a little sense. All right. Sounds good, man. Next one we have on the ticket of Baltimore Orioles at the Detroit Tigers. Kid, the Tigers got me yesterday, man. Me too. Oh, I mean, that David offense, Price. Uh, the offense just can't. Dude, it seems like they can't get out of their own way sometimes, man. Yeah, I, um, it's, it's insane. I mean, it's insane. And you blow another good start. Um, Oh, the Tigers, man. They, You know, I think that, like I said at the beginning of the year, I think they're going to finish exactly where we thought, you know, they were going to be. But I think today, and, you know, uh, maybe I'm a glutton for punishment. I am going to roll with them today. You are, huh? I am, and oh. this is why. I know Verlander's 0-2 with a 5-3-4 since he's gotten back, okay? But his last start out, I really think he showed – the flash that maybe he's back now. You know, it took him a couple starts. Remember, I mean, he had that one bad start where he got blown up against Toronto on July 5th. Yeah. You know, he had that start on June 30th, though, where he went against Pittsburgh, and he only gave up six hits and two earned over six innings. And his last start out at the Twins, remember, he went seven and two-thirds, five hits, and only gave up a run. Okay. Uh, you know, and Miguel Gonzalez has been the opposite. You know, he's been bad. Out of his last three starts, and two of them, he's given up six earned runs. Uh, the longest he's gone was at the White Sox. He did go six innings, four hits, and one earned. Uh, won that game, but the other two, uh, home against Texas, home against Washington, um, eight hits and nine hits and six earned in each of those games. All right, I feel so you, man. I'm, I'm all over the Tigers today. I think they get it done, too, but I just – they always – I think between them – and the Yankees. Those are the two teams that get me the most this year. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a little gun shy with them. I got to be honest with you. I know. Um, and like the offense does scare me a little bit, but man, they, they got to be able to hit Miguel Gonzalez. You know what? Both of these teams, man, uh, just looking at them and, um, you know, the Yankees and, and just looking at the AL East in general, man, I, dude, I, I think it's a mess. I think it's going to be a mess for the rest of the year. I mean, the Yankees are slightly ahead, but you know, I think there's going to be a bunch of teams that are 10, 15 games over 500 towards the end battling for that division. Oh, it's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be fun. Um, you know, and I was I was adamantly against the second wild card when I first, you know, when it first came out. But I got to be honest, I, I actually kind of like it now because you know, there's such a difference now between winning your division and getting the wild card. Right. Definitely going to see some fireworks. We're definitely going to see teams, you know, that are going all out because there's going to be, you know, you're going to see the West, right? You got the Angels and the Astros are going to be probably real close the whole way out. The Central with the Royals and the Twins could be real close. And if the Tigers pop in there as well. And then the East, everybody's bunched up except for really the Red Sox. Exactly. Exactly. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be real crazy. It's going to be fun. All right, so you're feeling Verlander today, huh? I am feeling Verlander. Mm. I think, you know, he got off the schneid with a great start last time out. I think he keeps it up. He's at home against, you know, a pitcher who's been on the downturn in Gonzalez. Got to go with Verlander and the Tigers. All right, man. Uh, going to the next game, Cleveland at Cincinnati. Cleveland, Carlos Carrasco. Cincinnati, Johnny Cueto. 
Uh, Cincinnati minus 123 with an under over of seven runs. Um, do you think that this is Cueto's last game? He's probably got one more after this at least. Um, I think he's auditioning. He's auditioning, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, pretty much. He, he's auditioning for, uh, you know, for somebody. And this might be his last start, second to last start, something like that. Yep. No, I mean, here's the thing. It's seven nineteen. The trade deadline is in 11 days. What's probably going to happen is he'll probably be scheduled for a start after this. And then someone's going to hit He'll make it for somebody else. Okay. All right. But gotcha. for this time out, this I think he knows this could be his last time in a Reds uniform. Um, you know, the, obviously the emotion's going to be high. He, you know, the fans know this could be it for him too. I think he gets really energized. He's at home at minus one twenty. I got to take Johnny Cueto. I agree and, with you there. I mean, to me, it's kind of crazy that it's only minus one twenty because Carlos Carrasco hasn't been great. I mean. He had that one good start at Tampa Bay where he went eight and two-thirds and gave up a hit and a run. Um, But, you know, I mean, it's Tampa Bay. Their offense sucks. And remember, he got murdered by Houston. He had an okay game against Oakland. Um, You know, so I got got to think that Cueto shuts him down um, for sure today. I, I do also like the under in this game. All right, Mr. Cueto, let's see. Yeah, minus 123 with an under over of seven runs. I, I like Cueto. I think they get the job done here. Let me I just take a look at a couple of trends. Minus one, I expected this game to be minus 140 to 150. I did, too. I did, too. So maybe there's something we're not seeing, Dan. Uh, you know, I, I I don't I don't know about that, Let's man. do a I, little bit more homework because that line seems a little off to me. To be I'm waiting to see the full lineup being, you know, being put out there. But, man, I, I don't I don't know. It's still Cueto starting. Um, oh, here we go. We got a lineup out right now, and the lineup looks the lineup looks good. The lineup looks normal. You got Brandon Phillips leading off, Votto, Frazier, Bruce, Pena, Marlon Bird, De Jesus, Cueto's batting eighth, and Billy Hamilton's in the nine hole. Okay. Um, you know the other thing too, guys. Remember, I mean, there is a fifty-two percent chance of rain, which might be I don't know the reason, but. You also have an AL team that has to bat their pitcher, no DH. So, guys, if you want to check out the uh, the lineups and the weather patterns and all that stuff, go check out RotoWire. That's where I get all this information from. Okay, cool deal. Cool deal. Let's go over to the next game here and see what we got, man. We got the uh, the Miami Marlins trying to outsuck the uh, Philadelphia Phillies, like my boy Ben said yesterday. <laughs> uh, Miami, Dan Heron, uh, Philadelphia has uh, Cole Hamels, who – Maybe addition auditioning, but you said he may not get traded till the winter. Uh, Philly minus one thirty. Yeah, I'm hearing rumors about Philly minus one thirty favored. I, I haven't seen them favored in a long time. <laughs> uh, my, and uh, the under over seven runs, kid. That really says something about the terribleness of the Marlins. <laughs> I mean, I know it's Cole Hamels, but like Cole Hamels has not been. I mean, stellar. I mean, he's five and seven with a three six three. I mean, that ERA is not terrible, but I mean, it's not top tier. Yeah. Um. I, look, I I'm I don't want anything to do with this game. I do think the Phillies will win it though. Really? They go for the sweep, yeah, huh? I think so. I wow. mean, hey, every dog's got to have his day, and if you're gonna do it, it's still a division. I mean. You know, hey, you're battling for the two worst teams in your division right now. Yeah. With a close third by the Atlanta Braves. Good point. Um, Whatever. I mean, this is a gross, disgusting game. I don't know why you'd want to even be involved in it. I concur, Dan. I concur. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one, we have the uh, LA Dodgers at the Washington Nasties. Now, this is an excellent pitching matchup, dude. This oh, is uh, this it. is number one versus number two, ERA-wise. You got yeah. Granky versus Scherzer. Uh, pretty much even money all across the board with an under over of six point five runs Dan what you got here wow I woo man I got the under <laughs> six and a half I mean just like I, I can't look Washington can't hit hit the ball especially good pitching um the Dodgers I think you know I think Scherzer 
knows how to pitch to an AL type lineup, obviously. And that's what this lineup is. I mean, everybody can hit. I mean, even Granky can hit the ball a little bit. Yeah, right. So, right. you know, I, I think Scherzer is going to do really well. I think, you know, that's the only thing. I think you see this game real close, you know, 2-1. Of course. Three, one, you know, 3-1, three, 3-2 three, at the, you know, at the most. I mean, if you get into the bullpens early or something happens, I, I get it. But I'm I'm all about the under here. Okay, six and a half runs, man. Um, So let me ask you a question. This is the, So they've been talking about this uh, stretch that Granky's had, 35 and two-thirds innings without a score. Yeah. However... He let up a, a, a <laughs> he let up a home run to Trout in the um, in the All Star game. Doesn't well, count. They won't count it, right? No, they're just no. It's an, so it means an exhibition. So they'll probably talk regular season kind of uh, streak he's got going on. Well, it's, I mean, yeah, I mean, it does, yeah, it does not it does not count against the uh, against the streak at all. All right, got it, got it. Uh, big ups, my man Biz up on Twitter this morning. Irvin is out there, and C. Rodriguez Jr. along with Joseph Del Rosario. Good morning, guys. How is everybody doing out there? My man Biz says um, one of the lines already down to one t- minus one twelve for uh, Cincinnati. Interesting. That, yeah, I don't, I, I don't. Damn, what's going on there, man? Something's fishy. Smells something fishy, but I'm I'm looking at the lineups and. I mean, it's not like uh, it's not like Cincinnati is doing anything crazy, you know. You also, I'm looking right now. I mean, the Indians lineup, yeah, it looks the same as it normally does. I don't know, man. I I, I I'm can't figure that out. I'm seeing Cincinnati now down to minus one ten myself. Wow. <laughs> Kind of hang out and wait, man. It must be. I mean, I'm already locked. You guys watch the line movements, and I understand it, why it happens. What happens is, you know, there's a lot of um, what's called sharp money or sophisticated money coming in on a certain side that's moving the line. But you got to remember something. Sometimes some of these guys out in Vegas, what they'll do is they'll bet $500,000 one side to get it down to a certain number. And then they'll pound the other side for a million. So keep that in the back of your brains, like right before, like a half hour before, uh, before the game, you know, before the first pitch. You know what I'm saying? So you know they'll get it. They'll say, ah, I don't like the minus one twenty three. Let me get it down to minus one ten, and boom, they'll pound the other side. So right. something to take a look at, guys, and you know, keep in the back of your brains when you are gambling. Uh, the next one, let's see here, Dan. Um, all right, so L.A. and Washington. You're thinking under. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to go with it just, I mean, how how can I not? You know, how can I not? Okay. It's almost like one of those things, like, maybe I'm just putting that hook right in my mouth, but, you know, I'll, I'll gladly lose on an under with ranking shirts or even a six and a half. I feel you. I get it. Uh, next one we have is the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates uh, looking to get swept by the Milwaukee Brewers, kid. Uh, <laughs> Pittsburgh, Jeff Locke. Uh, Milwaukee, Taylor Jungman, Milwaukee favored in this matchup, guys. They are favored minus 120 with an under over of 8.5 runs. Dan, are the Brewers going to sweep them or what? I am touching this game, but I think they might. And that puts a that puts a monster smile on my face. You know that. I know it does. I know you, you have a, uh, a, a subconscious hatred for the Pirates. But yes. Dude, Jungman for the Brew Crew has been unreal. He's 4 and 1 with a 2 1 5. Yep. And Locke has been the epitome of mediocrity, you know, 5 and 5 with a 4 0 3. Um, you know, this he really is. I mean, Jungman's, he's still a young guy. I mean, I know he's. And he's done all this on the road, guys. I mean, at Philadelphia in his in his first start of the year, um, five hits, two earned. At Cincinnati, four hits, one earned. At the Dodgers, complete game, three hitter, one earned. Kids, kids, legit makes me wanna really makes me wanna take the Brewers today. Like I'm, I'm almost there. It's just. I, can the Pirates really allow themselves to get swept by the Brew Crew? I think I, I you know I what? Mean, it would, is, I would I be mean, like Locke has been really good over his last three starts too. Yeah, yeah. Over would, his last three starts, he's uh, 
You know, at Atlanta or home against Atlanta, five innings, five hits, one earned. Cleveland, eight innings, two hits, no earned. The Cards, five innings, five hits, only one earned. You know, his last seven games, he's been so much better. I mean, he's, you know, two and two, but with a two, two, three, you know, 30 strikeouts in 40 innings. Not bad. Not bad. That's why I stay away from it. Oh, damn. Dude, did you see this um, thing? Uh, Jonesy just sent it to me. Um, in Australia, the guy was surfing and a shark attacked him. Yeah. Mick I Fanning. I thought you like someone dying. He, he, I'm yeah, to know I, that's I was like, oh, no. But I guess he's unharmed, dude. I don't know if the shark, you know, caught him or whatever. But, damn, I mean, I mean how, do you, how do you get away from him? I don't know. Uh, I can't I'm, see the rest what of What I'm it. guessing is, no, you don't get away from him. What I'm guessing is that, you know, the shark probably took a chunk of his board and realized that that ain't tasty. And just, you know, he's down. The dude got real lucky. Wow, very uh, lucky. My God, unbelievable. Uh, going back to baseball here. So the Pittsburgh Pirates are 16 games over 500. The Milwaukee Brewers 12 games under. And the Milwaukee Brewers are scoring over four runs a game now. Um, but you a hundred dollar better. You're still down 1100 bucks with them uh, on the year. But Jungman, man, you know, hey, it's not like the Pittsburgh bats are all that. No, but, you know, I, I mean, like I said, Locke has been lights out lately. I mean, lights out. So. Okay. Well, I, that I doesn't sound, that, that, that does not sound appropriate for Locke, surprisingly, man. So, uh, <laughs> Like I said, I mean, his last, his last three starts, he, I mean, he's been a beast. Got to get some under then, man. Ah, uh, you know, something I, I just... Yeah, I can't. I can't do it either, dude. <laughs> big up to uh, big up to Frank Vincolato out there. What's going on, man? Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we got It's Woots all the way in Australia. Uh, what's going on, guys? Good morning to you. All right. So uh, the next one we have on the ticket. I have a I have a feeling you're going to be all over this game. Uh, you got Texas with uh, Giovanni Gallardo versus Houston with Mister Dallas Keuchel. Uh, Houston minus one seventy with an under over of seven runs. This Houston Astros team, man, dude. I I, I put out a tweet yesterday. Said I'm going to. Buy to dream one of them nasty uniforms <laughs> with, with the rainbow <laughs> i love those nasty uniforms that is one of the ugliest hideous uh that that's probably like in the classification that's probably in the same class as those pittsburgh ones you know pittsburgh um oh, Steel, the yeah, pittsburgh been, steelers ones with like yeah. the stripes uh it's very close to being as i mean ugly. I, I like that stuff you know i mean i oh, I, I love God. the retro 70s but uh no i mean i think the worst was when like the pittsburgh pirates they did like a throwback uni, like in the seventies, and it was supposed to be off like you know eighteen hundreds. They had like the little hats. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, was, it was insane. But yep. um, some bad uniforms out there. Yes, but yes. So that Dallas Keuchel, man, we did have some benches clear yesterday. I did not see that, Dan. Oh yeah, where? Which in uh, in Texas, you know, you got two Texas guys together, and they just they just decided to you know clear those benches. Wow, interesting, man. So, uh, anybody get suspended? Anything of note? I haven't seen. No, I don't even think anybody got thrown out of the game. Oh, okay, all right. So, but you know, there's there's that there is that bad blood between these teams. I mean, now they're division um, division rivals. And the thing is, I mean, I gotta say, what uh, what Rugnit Odor did was the most hilarious thing. So he was basically jawing with the catcher um, of the Astros. You know, they get into it. Dude hits a triple and flips his bat like he's Yasiel Puig. I mean, just like you know. So there, there's that bad blood there. Okay. I'm all, I'm all over uh, Houston today. I had a feeling you would be, man. Uh, I like, I would like Houston minus one though. You know, to get that down to like minus one twenty juice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I think that's probably the, the that's probably going to be the play for me. I think I'll get it down to minus one run, not one and a half, just one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm doing one and a half on on another well, system that I have got going I'm, on, but yeah, I am. So what I'm also doing is I have a I have Houston as the anchor leg of my of a three team parlay that I'm rolling with. Okay. As well. So yeah, man, uh, um, I'm with you there. I know it's a little high at minus 170. But as we saw yesterday, when the juice was a little crazy, or what we thought was crazy in that Dodgers Nasdaq game, I think this one's pretty right on. Okay, all right, sounds good, man. Um, next one we have on a ticket here. Talk about some crazy juice, man. Uh, Kansas City coming into the Chicago White Sox. K. Sizzle, Danny Duffy, and the White Sox have Mister Chris Sale. Kid, Chicago White Sox, dude, minus one eighty. 
with an yeah. under over of seven. K Sizzle at is a plus one sixty under. And that is a underdog. big change. That's a big change as of this morning at uh, like seven thirty in the morning. So only in three hours' time. The line has went from minus one forty five all the way to minus one eighty. Wow, wow, interesting. So it looks like the juice is coming pretty heavy on Mister Sale. All right. Uh, um, look, I'm staying away from this game. I, I just, I mean, look, Chris Sale has been disgusting, just oh, absolutely yeah. disgusting. Sick. Sick. You know. I know, you know, that 8-4 and four number obviously is because of, you know, his early season struggles coming off the injury and all that. But over his last seven, even though he has a 203 ERA, he's only 3-2, and two, guys. Only 3-2. and two. Okay. I mean, in 53 innings, he does have 78 strikeouts. Sick. I mean, that, <laughs> that's like, you know, but the thing is, is he's getting no run support. You know, remember he had that game against the Cards at St. Louis where that eight innings and he only gave up the one earned. He didn't. He couldn't get a win there. Um, he did win his last two against Toronto. He had to go a complete game, two earned. And at Chicago, seven innings, uh, six hits, one earned. But there's something about, you know, the Royals are, you know, obviously one of the best teams in baseball, if not the best. Yep. And on top of that, Chris Sale, I don't think will go in, you know, I don't know if he goes a complete game. I mean, he went eight, nine, and seven in his last three. Let's see what happens. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to stay away from it. I, I lean the White Sox, but I'm not going to touch it. Yeah, that's a lot of juice for them to be given. Yeah. A lot Against of juice, the Royals, man. you know, I understand it's Sale, but that's too much for that team. The team doesn't score. They did yesterday. I know though. it's Duffy. They they scored yeah, six runs yeah, yesterday. So they scored yesterday, so that means they probably got nothing left in the tank. Yep, definitely. Uh, big ups to uh, Johnny Bravo Sports. Welcome to the party, brother. Uh, we got uh, AL versus NL. We got the VEV, and we got Sermata on there. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday morning to you, man. Uh, let's see. And, Dan, I had a uh, vision to uh, make the Saturday show very, very big. So you and I are going to have the conversation on it this week, and uh, we'll go from there. So, uh Get ready for Saturdays to be, like, insane, guys. Uh, the next one we have on a ticket, we have the, uh, the, oh, your New York Mets who got smoke showed yesterday. Mr. Bartolo Colon got smashed. Uh, yeah. Coming into the St. Lucia Cardinals again. This is the final game of this series. Louis, uh, Tim Cooney, St. Louis minus 143, went an under over of 7.5 runs. It's just... Dude, the Mets just got unlucky with who they had pitching. You know, they didn't have DeGrom. They didn't have Harvey in this um, in this series. You know no, what I'm saying? No, no. And this is what happened when they played the cards at home. Um, you know, Nice and Cologne both got crap kicked out of them. Uh, you know, I am not, I'm not touching this game. And looking at it, though, I mean, the Mets have a, have a shot. I mean, Nice hasn't been bad. I mean, in his last three starts, you know, home against the Cubs, he only gave up one earn. He shut out the Giants on the road. You know, against uh, Arizona, remember, he went six and two-thirds. He gave five hits and three earned. You know, Tim Cooney, remember, is, I mean, is the, I mean, he's been okay. You know, two, one, and three uh, runs given up in his last three starts. He's, he's yet to win a game. I'm just staying away. Yeah, I'm just staying I, away. I, I lean the over here, honestly. Really? I know it's crazy because it's the Mets. So I'm not. I, I do lean it though. Wow. Well, we'll see, man. Maybe to catch a couple of home runs, man. It's like the only way they could score. That's, that's it. That's <laughs> it. All right. Next one we have on a ticket, man. Uh, the Minnesota Twins coming at the Oakland A's. What a shame how Minnesota lost yesterday, man. Ah. Up two to one going into the bottom of the ninth. Let the Oakland A's score going to extra innings and lose the game. Uh, Minnesota, Tom Malone, Oakland, Jesse Chavez, Oakland minus one forty with an under over of seven and a half. Dude, I watched the Twins, man. They they got like a little swagger to them, man. They're kind of feeling themselves a little bit. Yeah, they are. And I'm telling you, they make the playoffs. You don't want to go into Minnesota, no. in, you know, especially at home. But also, you got to remember. It's going to be like 20 degrees in the playoffs over there. It's the outdoor stadium. Right. So. Yesterday. 
I'm riding hard on the Twins today. Are you really? This, dude, this line is insanity to me, okay? Insanity. The Twins are plus 120. I'm telling you, and I'm not advising everybody to do the same, I have unloaded, unloaded on the Twins today. Wow. Here's the thing. Look, Jesse Chavez, severely overrated. Severely overrated. Last seven starts, two and four with a 5-2-7. Last three starts, he's 0-3, giving up. Um, home against the, the Royals, six hits, three earned. Home against Seattle, six and a third, nine hits, four earned. At the Stanks, only five innings, seven hits, four earned. Um, on the other hand, so he's been bad at home and on the road. And on the other hand, you got Tommy Malone, dude, who has been outrageously good. At Milwaukee, six innings, two hits, no runs. At Kansas City, six innings, five hits, one earned. Home against Baltimore, seven innings, five hits, one earned. His last seven starts, he's 3-0 with a 184. Plus 120? You got to be kidding me. Wow, you man. You got to be kidding me. I'm... I can't tell you. I don't even want to tell you how much money I have unloaded on this game. And, oh, it so, sounds like a ham play to me, dude. Dude, it's I, I don't I don't I don't get the wow. uh, I don't get the line. I'm I'm all I'm all in, baby. I'm all in. Wow, dude. All right, Dan. I think I listen, guys, to the SBTV Nation. All right, we are not handicappers. Okay, whether we win or whether we lose. Do your own homework. Figure out if that line works for you. Tail it, fade it, do whatever the hell you want to do. Okay, this is yeah, just this is a show where we're telling you who we're betting on our own. Take it with a grain of salt. Do whatever you want to do. If you love it, hate it, I don't care what you do. But that's what Dan is playing. And you know what? I think I'm going to have a conversation with you after the show, Dan. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Because you know I, I'm kind of feeling this team a little bit. <laughs> Dude, I mean, you know, <laughs> the thing is, I just... I was waiting for a line correction to be issued. I was waiting for an email. Hey, we uh, we meant that to be minus 120 or minus 130. Um, look, yeah, what, what you said is true, man. I'm not telling anybody to go crazy on this game. I just, there's certain things throughout the year, and it's very rare. I mean, this is the first time I've gone absolutely crazy on one game. It is not my normal style. Everybody knows that I play a lot of games for like a unit. Most of the time, maybe two on, you know, and look, this one, I just, I was so shocked that I had to take it. All right, guys. So remember, man, you know, sometimes we go into the lion's den on our own. So, hey. yeah, hey, I'm, I'm there. I'm Daniel in the lion's den. <laughs> the doctor is in the <laughs> Dr. den. Dr. Daniel in the good. lion's den. All right. Uh, the next game we have on the ticket, we got the San Francisco Giants at the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, San Fran, Mon- Madison, Bumgarner. Versus Arizona, Patrick Corbin. Dude, Arizona, man. Ah, oh, it's just a shame. I, I'm, like, so yeah. upset with them. I really am. I'm really pissed that they're, uh, they just fell off like this. Five five losses in a row now. Uh, San that Fran. what you call crap in the bed. Yeah, San Fran minus 138 with an under over of eight. What do you got here, bro? Oh, man. Um, I'm obviously all over the Giants today. That offense looks like it's picked up. Yes. Um. You know, so I, I'm going to definitely take the Giants. I'm also adding Bumgarner as the second leg of my ace pitcher um, three-team parlay. Ooh. So uh, right now, just so you guys know, it's Keichel and Bumgarner, and I'll reveal the third leg when we get to the game. You'll reveal it. All right. Sounds good, man. I'll yeah, I'm looking, at, I'm looking at Patrick Corbin's uh, numbers here. 7.20 ERA, man. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah, he's a uh, hump. Um, He's bad. I mean, you know, at minus 140, I honestly, I know this game's in Arizona. You know, I know that, like, it can be sometimes as crazy as um, anywhere else. But, I mean, this just, this just, this matchup is, you know, it's like if Mike Tyson fought me. Um, You got Bumgarner against Corbin. It it is shouting at me. Okay. All right. Sounds good, man. Two gave up four earned against the Mets. In five innings, I mean, he got Oof. he got hit yeah. up by the Mets. Yeah, that doesn't sound too good, man. San, San, <laughs> Fran, mean, that, San Fran's been streaky, and they've been getting hot, and the bats have been kind of waking up a little bit. Um, I think they scored like 41 runs in five games or something crazy, Dan. They've been pretty good lately with the bats. You know, they you're right. They go through those swings, and, you know, it looks like they're on one of them right now. 23, 27, 41 runs in eight games. Uh, I'm sorry, five games. 
So that's over eight runs a game, dude. Yeah, I mean, and in the you know their last three, eight or four, sorry. Oh my God! If you look at this winning streak that they've gone on, so they've won five in a row. Yep. Fifteen runs, eight runs. Yep. Four runs, six runs, and eight runs yesterday. So they're in that groove right now. Um, they're definitely in that groove. So. Oh, well, you got Pence, Posey, Panic. I mean, they're they're doing pretty good, man. Doing their oh, thing. Oh yeah, no, for sure. And like that's the thing you want to check too. Um, we'll po- I mean, I know this game's a four ten Eastern. But it's a West Coast, so you got to see if Posey's actually making the start today, day game after a night game. Yeah, but even point. even so, even so, I don't think it'll matter too much. I think Bob Gartner shuts him down. Yeah, man. But, uh, let's see. Um, going to the next one here. I, you know what? Just Arizona's bats at home kind of scare me a little bit, Dan. I know, but it is Bob Gartner. I get Gartner. it. I know. I, I get it. I totally understand. Now uh, we got three games left, guys. We have. Uh, let's see. We got the Colorado Rockies coming into the San Diego Padres, man. Uh, Colorado, Kyle Kendrick. It seems like Colorado's night and day on, on the road versus at home, dude. Uh, San Diego, Andrew Kashner. San Diego I got a minus... different starter for Colorado. Who do you got? I got Butler. Butler, huh? I got Butler listed for Colorado. Yeah, I got Eddie Butler. Are you on MLB.com? Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm on the Rockies site right now. Okay, then that, that's probably the move then. So what do you got for a line and all that? So, right now, the line on that game is, let's see. Sorry, guys. Just, uh, I guess. Do your thing. Do your thing. All right. Here we go. So, yeah. Uh, Over under of seven. This game is disgusting. I mean, Kashner is 3-10 with a 4-1-0. You know, Butler is 3-6 um, and six with a 4-8-0. And his last, <laughs> his last three starts have been bad. His last seven, Butler is 1-5 with a 5-8-5. Um, I, I like the over here, but I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm just going to stay away from this. This is like as nasty as that. Marlins Phillies game for yes. the East. This yes. is like Marlins Phillies West. I don't want anything to do with it. The Padres have disappointed me so much this year. I'm going to just stay away. All right, all right, sounds good, my man. Uh, let's see. Uh, yep, he, Jonesy's telling me Butler's on the mound as well. Um, Frank yeah. Colado is a big, big, big Giants fan. He's saying Posey's starting behind the dish. Uh, Bummy's pitching, and Suzak caught yesterday before getting injured. So. Okay. There you go. Okay. There you go. All yeah, right. Especially with the Suzak injury, I guess. You power, know. That's the power to SBTV Nation, man. Thank you guys for all the information. We appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Two more games on the ticket, man. We got uh, Chicago Cubs coming into the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Chicago, Jake Aridia. Uh, Atlanta has uh, Shelby Miller. Chicago minus 150. Wow. We're yeah. under over of seven, Dan. Um, you know, after almost getting no yesterday, you see you see why. Um, I got bit, but here's the thing. Arietta has been dominant lately. I mean, absolutely lights out. And if you look at it, uh, Shelby Miller, after having a great start to the year, he has not been great, okay? And his last, you know, home against the Nationals, he only went five innings, eight hits, four earned. He did, you know, he shut out the Phillies over six and a third. Big deal. And then remember, he got blown up at Colorado. Yeah. Um, Arietta, you know, in his last three starts at the Mets, only one earned. You know, it's the Mets, so whatever. But then home against St. Louis, seven hits, only two earned. And then home against the White Sox, two hits and one earned. And a complete game. Wow. So he's really getting in his groove. Over Arietta's last seven, five and one with a 2 1 3. Okay. Um, I am adding him. This is the third leg of my ace pitcher three team parlay. Really? Yep. Wow. All right, man. Hey, I wish you the best of luck with that. That probably pays kind of crazy. It's a uh, plus three twenty seven, at least when I got it. So plus three twenty seven. Okay. And what time are those games? Let's just take a look at it. We have uh, just in case you we got, got some Cueto going edge, off edging. at one ten Eastern. Okay. So you can get that That's out it. of the way. Right. And then um, Keichel, Keichel's at two ten. 
Like high gold is at two ten, and then um, so five ten for Arietta. So then, or five oh five. Yeah, so that's your third game. So if you get in trouble on that third game, you can hedge out with a live I, line. Yeah, I might. You know, I might be able to do some stuff before because. You know, especially guys, remember with uh, some of these really good pitching matchups, I mean, Gallardo's good, Keuchel's really good. That game might be over. I might get lucky, and that game might be over or close to it before the um, Arietta, um, you know, Cubs game. So definitely I would I would obviously hedge um, on the Braves, but um, I really think that the, that's a pretty good three-team parlay first. Nice Sunday. All right, awesome, man. Uh, my man business telling me that Minnesota has gone up to 129 on five dizzles. What? <laughs> Dan, loving it, man. All right, so uh, the final game we have on the ticket, guys. Uh, just real quick, uh, speaking of sports books, I want to do a show that where I give you my review of all of them, you know, all the online books. Um, because, guys, I play on all of them, like every single one. So I can give you like my breakdown as far as you know what's what's awful on one, what's great on another, and all that stuff. I'm gonna make some notes, and I'll probably do that show. I gotta talk to the Dream and kind of coordinate it, but I'll do it this week. Uh, just a sports book review, the Hatter Sports Book Review, man. So uh, get ready for that, guys. I think it'll. Be, I think you guys will be very interested in what I got to say about some of these. Um, like I said, some have really good stuff. Some suck in other at areas, so uh, we'll keep it moving from there. Uh, the final game we have on the ticket is Sunday Night Baseball. Dan, we got the Boston Red Sox at the L.A. Angels. Boston, Eduardo Rodriguez, L.A. Hector Santiago. Uh, L.A. minus 125 with an under over of 7.5 runs. You, Yeah. L.A. Angels. Angels. And um, I'm the Angels again. Yeah. Yeah, but it was you know, a good, good call really yesterday, like man. I Hector Santiago. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's definitely um, in the top. Um, I dude, his say... last three games, home against the Mariners, one earned, shut out the Rangers on the road, and then, came, and then on the road at Seattle, eight hits and only one earned, won seven full innings in each game. Um, you know, I know uh, Eduardo Rodriguez for the, for the Sox has been pretty good as well. I mean, at Toronto, remember, he only gave one earned. Home against Houston, home against the Stanks. But his last seven total, I mean, he is three and two with a four seven four. So, um, you know, I'm all over the Angels here. Um, I think the Red Sox just lose another one. All right, so you're going, you're going for the queen, clean sweep with the LA Angels. Yes. Big ups to the Dream too for hitting the uh, the series play with the um, St. Lucia Cardinals. He yeah, hit that, that yesterday, man. Two two games in, he already he already cashed that. So big ups to him on that. that Looking forward to getting fun. him back on tomorrow, and uh, we'll go from there. So you're feeling the Angels for the sweep today? Yeah, man, I'm I'm loving I'm loving it. All right, all right, man. So Dan, record time I think for 15 games. I know. Good stuff, good stuff, guys. So uh, I have to go to work after this. I've got a bunch of stuff to go. I got to actually. Uh, <laughs> show my sister a house that she bought already i gotta kind of walk through it with her with her kids and do all that whole you know happy stuff today man so uh <laughs> hey it is what it is and we will go from there so dan talk to why don't you recap the plays that you're on today man i'm very interested to uh hear your recap yeah so um the plays that and these are all locked in um i got the tigers the angels the reds the Mariners and the Twins, and remember, I've unloaded on the Twins. <laughs> and then um, I got a three-team Sunday Fun Day parlay, pays out like plus three twenty-seven. Obviously, shop around. I got the Cubs, the Giants, and the Astros because you got Keuchel, Bumgarner, and Arietta on the mound. Um, let's go out there and get that money. All right, sounds good, man. Uh, the only thing I'm looking at right now, Dan, is uh, I'm looking at Dallas Keuchel minus one run to be like a minus 120 juice that's where i'm trying to get that as a as a number you know what i'm saying so i may do that or i may open up a parlay and just leave you know a couple of legs open for some uh, you could just go keiko and bumgarner i think that pays out like plus 127 i just don't like i i just arizona scares me with their bats at home dude all right I, i'm you know what? It would, be, king. it would be more of a yeah. It would be more of a heart play if I took the Brewers. I'll be honest. Go with, with the you. King or go with Cueto. Cueto no. looks pretty good, but you got the Minnesota Twins here as well, dude. So uh, we'll we'll have the conversation, guys. Here's our warning. Again, listen. 
do your own stuff. All right. <laughs> yeah. This is just our opinion of who we're betting, and uh, we're betting with our own money. So, uh, you know, feel free to do whatever the hell you want. You think we sucked and, you know, fade us. You think we're dope. Uh, you know, maybe maybe tail, whatever. But we're not responsible if you lose. <laughs> right? We're just kind of putting it out there. So, uh, But even when you're tearing it up, man, I say the same thing. So, Dan, uh, awesome information, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate the whole hashtag SBTV Nation out there. Vegas Girl 92661 is out there. Biz, Christos. What's up, guys? Uh, Johnny Bravo Sports. Frank Vincolato, thank you for all the information. James Knoll, AL versus NL. Sir Mata, VEV, and so many more. The Canadian capper, OJFB, my man Mike. And, uh, dude, it just keeps going and going and going and going and going, guys. But we love you to death, man. Go out there. Go easy. Do your own homework. Bet your own plays. Make your dreams a reality and get that money. Take care. Peace.